once you're done with the fins and you've got all of those glued on, uh, the next thing we need to do is one of the most important things. It is to build the engine holder. Okay? The engine is what propels the rocket. This is an old one. Uh, it has been fired and so then I just call it a dead engine. Uh, but it's a C65. So uh, it's one of the I don't know, mid-range engines. For this size of engine, it's one of the most powerful ones actually. Um, but the dimensions of it are it's a little over two and a half inches. It's about two and five eighths inches long. And then it is about five eighths of an inch thick. Actually, sorry, that's about three fourths of an inch thick. Alright? Uh, or the diameter of it. So you need to build a holder that will hold it in the end of the rocket so it won't go shooting through your rocket. Alright? So you'll need to build a holder for it. So I usually get a piece of cardboard and I usually make it um, at least three inches, if not like three and a half inches wide, and then anywhere from seven to ten inches long, depending on how big my tube is. My tube isn't a very big tube, so I don't need a big uh, piece of cardboard. Uh, but the idea is, if you have a dead engine, I just use that and then I end up rolling the cardboard around it. And as I'm rolling the cardboard around it, I want it to be nice and tight because it's going to go in. And once it goes in my tube, that's what's going to be in the So right now it is too big to fit in there. So I'll need to trim it. But once I've got it trimmed, and I usually do a little test to see if my engine slides out and it doesn't. It's nice and tight and it's even kind of hard to pull to get out and that's a good thing. Alright, so once I have it the size that I need to fit into my uh, rocket body, my main tube, then I can glue and tape it so it stays, but then I'm also going to use a paper clip and undo the paper clip. But I'm going to stick the paper clip through the cardboard so it'll be a stopper for the engine so the engine can't slide all the way through. So I would want my paper clip to go part way through the cardboard or all the way through the cardboard. It'll stop the engine. It's nice to have the engine uh, hanging out a little bit so you can grab it and pull it out and replace it and put a new one in if you need to. So, a couple steps here to do. Once you have your engine holder in place, you want to test to make sure that your engine slides in. You can't push it forward anymore, or push it into the rocket anymore. So, it comes out, but it, it'll stay on its own. And then the other thing is, you want to make sure that you glue your engine holder in place. If you don't glue your engine holder in place, so then it'll go flying through your rocket. And you definitely don't want that because you want your engine going with the rocket. So I made sure to glue the edge, and then you can even glue it as you're putting it in place for the last time. So it's really important that you glue it in there, and then your engine will go in. And then eventually, once you have a live engine, your nozzle is pointed down and then you can get it set up and you're ready to launch. And the most important part is I have my engine holder and the engine doesn't fall out if I shake it. 